So how did I make this stand for this stunning backdrop? Stay right there. So here we're gonna start off with two of our three feet PCB, PCB pipes and two T's. This is gonna act as our base. So you're gonna wanna press that in very, very well. As you can see, I'm really trying to put some force behind that thing. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other piece. To keep it in there. And the circumference, guys, just so you know, is one inch around. And so here are our one foot pieces. We're gonna take those and put those on either side of the base there in the T's. And it's gonna form one big T. As you can see there, it looks like a T, an upside down T. So you're gonna do that again with the other one, as I'm doing right here. And I want to give a shout out to my guy, Johnny P, at the Home Depot here in Cleveland. Uh, he was so helpful when I found these pieces. Very patient with me. <laughs> so, hey, Johnny P, I hope you're watching. Thank you for all your help that day. So we're going to make sure that they're on there pretty equally, as they are. Now we're going to go ahead and grab, now this is an elbow. <laughs> Looks like an elbow. We're going to put one of those on each piece. There's going to be four total. Uh, you're going to make sure the elbow is facing downward toward the floor. So think of an ironing board, the way the bottom of an ironing board looks. So we're going to put those on that part and repeat on the other piece. And you're going to make sure they're turned uh, where they're equal, as I'm doing right there. Pretty heavy duty plastic, guys. <laughs> so, again, make sure those are pretty even so that when you set the, um, when you assemble the rest of the stand, it doesn't wobble or topple over. Okay, and so now we're going to go ahead and put our stabilizer um, or Oh, you see the one piece there actually in the front is a little crooked. Now, nah, I guess I'll fix that at some point. So we're going to grab two more of our T's. Those are going to act as anchors to our middle part, our support. And again, press that really, really well. Because we don't want our stand. It's going to be a pretty good size stand. And we don't want it falling over or toppling or falling apart rather because it's not secured well enough. All right, and then um, make sure that your tees for this part here, that the open part, that they're both facing inward toward one another. And so I think at this part, um, at this point rather, I was putting it on, I think the wrong way. No, I was putting on correctly. Just make sure the two open ends are facing one another as you see here. So we're going to grab our last five foot pole and this is going to go between the two pieces that we've made already. That's going to be our middle part. And again you want to secure that very well. Um, I've also um, put in the description box the type of adhesive that you could use. You can use uh, any adhesive if you like that's completely optional. But I found that um, it's going to be probably needed because these things were falling apart <laughs> um, because it's so large. But again, it's completely optional. Maybe you're stronger than I am and, uh, you know. So anyway, uh, you're going to take another, our, our other... Um, uh, three feet uh, PCB pipes and put those on top of the elbows and you see I'm trying to get a gauge to show you guys about how wide uh, 
the actual frame is going to be. This is our last five footer and our last two elbows. I needed to get a <laughs> step stool and put those on top there. And there goes that five footer. So I guess we can say it's five foot across, right? <laughs> Gonna secure that on the top. And again, if you wanna use an adhesive or crazy glue even, that's fine. It might not be a bad idea because it's kind of falling apart. And it was that simple, guys. Here is my finished product. It takes no time. I'm sure it'd be quicker if you had a little help, but I did this solo, so. Um, but it takes no time at all. And here I'm trying to give you a good picture of it. This room I did it in was pretty small, so it was challenging to get the full thing in the frame, but um, just so you get a good idea right there. That's our finished product. So I moved it to my living room to take a better picture of it. Hopefully you can get a better um, gauge of how big it is. And now as a side note, I bought this backdrop off of Amazon. Um, it's eight feet by eight feet, right? I wanted to show you guys how big this thing is on the frame. These are clamps you can buy at Home Depot as well. They were just a buck each. And here I'm putting the, the uh, backdrop on the frame. And you may note that the middle bar or pipe fell down again. That adhesive might not be a bad idea. Just want to give you guys uh, an idea of how big this thing is. And again, this beautiful backdrop is eight feet by eight feet. Um, and there was some room left over, so it's not quite eight feet, obviously, the stand that is, but it's a good size. So there's my little thingy. I'm so proud. <laughs> um, I will, I don't know. It's been so long that I've had this backdrop. Um, if I can find the link uh, in my previous order, I'll include it in the description box. I got it off of Amazon, but I'll let you guys know. If I don't, I'm sorry. Um, that's the bottom of it. It mimics a floor, a wooden floor and little sparkles. So beautiful. Now the clamps, again, they were only a buck at Home Depot. And instead of just putting those on the top, you can put them however you like, even on the sides of the frame. So that's all, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.